Hey Virgo, let's get into your reading. What is going on for January 2024? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, yeah, let's take a look and see what the messages are here. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gosh, everything is like flying out. And one more. You have gambling, moving, and intuition. Okay. And you've got intimacy. All right, Virgo. So you're starting with gambling here. Problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. So that's pretty much an overall message to watch your pennies um, in the month of January. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, coming out of the holidays, a lot of money being spent. Got to pay those bills now. Um, be a bit more miserly. Get budgeting. You could also have somebody that you have a connection with who might have a problem with like they're addicted to gambling they're not good with their finances okay yeah so overall message there there is someone it could be a pisces who's keeping a gambling addiction a secret not saying anything okay keeping a gambling addiction a secret they um okay could also be you, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles. But you, um, so okay, you can reverse this. If this applies to you, Virgo, then take it that way. Okay, you could also have another connection with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, who's taking a look here at the fact of their money just pretty much being gone. Okay, and they're like, where the heck did it go? They can't find it. Um, or there is a, an energy of looking at a bank account and being like, where's all our money going? Where did it, where's all our money gone? Um, yeah, so it looks like the money thing is a big deal right here. Maybe looking to see if you can put some money down on like some horses or something or play some bets. And it's like, gosh, you don't have it. Okay. Wow, my God, the Five of Cups. So there is definitely an energy. I feel like somebody is finding out that another person is broke. They've run out of money. They've lost their money. They have a lot of regret for um, spending money um, in the sense of like gambling, placing bets, taking risks with money they don't have. Okay. Um, Virgo, you might be finding this out about somebody in January. Like, thinking to yourself okay well this person um you might find out about them or just you already know who this is <clears throat> why is this person living their life this way shouldn't they be at a particular place like it's it's one thing when there's an unfortunate circumstance that happens that's just external and it's like okay you get laid off you don't have enough money um or you know there's an injury or something like that happens but i feel like you're you might be discovering about someone whom it's like okay well they they say they have a job um you know uh, they say they have a lot of money <laughs> but <laughs> they're walking everywhere or they're on their bike um or you know they can't pay their bills or they're not paying their rent like it's because here that they're wasting their money gambling they're trying to hit it big um or they're just trying to get fast money this whoever this person is is broke um and they're borrowing from peter to pay paul yeah they're they're on this roller coaster they might even get off on this the highs and lows of gambling so virgo obviously for virgo you know not many virgos are gamblers because virgos aren't big risk takers when it comes to money um if they do gamble they usually want to make sure that they have money set aside that they can spend freely so there's no loss okay it's just a little extra um and it doesn't sit well generally with Virgos if someone they're connected to is just bad with their finances. It's just not good with their money, or they're just they have no they have no assets. There's no wealth. They have nothing to retire on. They're or they're living off of family members or parents, and they're just spending, spending, spending. And um, 
Yeah, I feel like that's a strong message. Virgo, you might be trying to help this person in January, get their finance together, try to help them balance their money. Um, okay, you could be in a relationship or a marriage with this person. Um, but I do feel like with that rainbow, I'm just and instantly, they just gave me this image of like the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, this person. I, I don't, whoever they are to you, like I said, you do have an earth sign and there is Pisces. They, it, it doesn't have to be, but whoever they are to you, this person, um, they could be borrowing money from family, but I feel like they're looking for that lucky pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. They're hoping they're going to hit a big and they're losing things. They're losing. They don't, it looks like maybe they don't have anything to show for their, their life. They really don't have anything. Um, they don't have a home, they don't have um, any wealth built, there's no assets, or they're losing them and they're selling. Um, maybe they're trying to take money from family or other people. And um, yeah, this is, this is tough. This is tough. Okay. This person, okay, temperance. Like both of these cards, Temperance and the Two of Pentacles is trying to find balance. I feel like this person is struggling. I will say with the Five of Cups, they have um, a lot of remorse and regret for the losses. I do feel that here. Um, they're, they might be trying to get themselves together as far as like moderating themselves, trying to kind of like control how they're gambling or control their spending um they could be seeking or asking help um from you to try to like maybe throwing hints at your way to try to say something about this that they've lost a lot of money they might message or uh call or have a sit down have a conversation with you and hint or beat around the bush but kind of hint that they're broke um it looks like this person Okay, the world, the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Six of Cups. Virgo, I just have to tell you, um, they might also tell you that they're okay, but they may be circling back your way to see if they, I don't know if they could get a loan, um, or if, you know, you, if you could lend them money. There is also a message they could be trying to pay you back. I'm making an offer as far as like if this person is trying to get themselves together and repay all their debt um, they may gift you money that they either they took from you or a family member or um, a sibling because um, I feel like with the fool this person kind of has this very risk-taking thing about them you know um, I feel like this is inherent in them they're a, a thrill seeker this person so you have aquarius sagittarius leo scorpio so i feel like this person is just by nature a risk taker hmm so they're either going to pay you back if they've taken money from you but then see if they can borrow a little bit more from you uh, you know virgo i don't know I don't, uh, you know, when you're dealing with somebody like this, it's best to just shut the door and not enable because they could try to play to your senses and see, come off very sincere, you know, about, you know, like they're really sorry, get in your good graces, try to get a little bit more money or get a loan from you um, again or for the first time. Yeah, Virgo. Virgo's like not having that. Yeah, this person... They have indulgent ideas when it comes to money finances. This person just, they get high on that, high on the pennies. They just want to spend, spend, spend. They want to make more money. So, you know, they're sitting at a casino or they're placing bets here and there. Um, you know, this could be one of your kids too, Virgo. Okay. Because the six of cups does represent children or childhood. So it could be one of your kids, could be a lover, whoever it is, whoever it is. This is going to come to the forefront in your life in January. So either somebody's swinging back around 
to give you money or pay you back um, or borrow money from you um, because of some, it's all, the foundation of the whole thing is based on this gambling, bad finances, some type of an addiction that comes to money. And you need to be aware of this if you are not. If you have been pulling the, your, the wool over your own eyes because you don't want to face this, you might need to start kind of opening yourself up a little bit to seeing what this situation is here. Because, you know, if it's affecting you financially or in any way, you, you have to look at that because no, nobody's out here in 2024 trying to go any more broke than we already are, right? Okay, so two of wands here. So let's see, why is this here? This is like the crossroads. This is like standing at a crossroad. All right, decision. You're, it's going to take you some courage. You're going to need some courage and strength to either give an ultimatum to someone here or give them a couple options. That they're gonna have to choose yeah it looks like you're gonna give an ultimatum to somebody could be a Leo you're gonna tell this person you know you need to get the strength to get your shit together and get the F out because you're 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 making me broke um, and you need to go figure out your own way or you know you got to decide if you're gonna help uh, like try to help this person right you mean i'm sometimes tough love is the best antidote but virgo's got a big heart virgo will definitely think on it you know you got a big heart you want to help people but you know you can't help people that don't help themselves and you know if someone wants to help them help themselves you can't just go by you know their their words you got to see consistent action over a long period of time you know what I mean? Now you can help, but if they, you know, go back on their old ways, I mean, there's only so much you can do, right? Okay. Because why? Your security means everything to you. You, Virgo, no matter what you have, okay, no matter what, you could have two cents to your name and that's your bank account, right? It's you, whatever's valuable to you, you need to protect your value, your valuables, whatever that is for you. Okay, what's valuable to one person is not valuable to another, but maybe it's even sentimental value or family, your job, your career. Um, put money away somewhere that no one can access but you. Yeah, or you work really hard for your money. You work really, really hard day in and day out. You do the daily grind because you're building your wealth. Now, if, you, if this is you, Virgo, you may be needing to take a look at yourself and put an ultimatum on, your, on yourself and give yourself um, a, a resolution this year that you're going to do something about, you know, if you're spending too much money and you're not doing your finances too well, as far as like seeking some help, getting like a credit counselor, um, trying to straighten your finances out this year, maybe attending some kind of group therapy if you have a gambling problem, things like that right learning some new skills doing something differently for yourself okay um this is kind of like seeking mentorship or help um and and you know either for yourself or for someone else virgo so the overall message here you know when somebody's got a gambling addiction if you're dealing with someone like that i mean i'm telling you they're gonna sell the the rocks and the stones in the driveway you will have like nothing they will sell every p every oil can you have in your garage they will sell all the food that you have in your fridge they will do everything and anything to keep their addiction going don't don't think for a second oh this person would never take my valuables or they would never um take the shirt off of my kid's back or something like that you know what i mean like don't ever think because that that addiction is powerful you can't fight that no 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 so keep your eyes open virgo in january for someone beside yourself if this is you but for someone in your life that their gambling problem is growing exponentially and it's gonna it may start affecting you in january if it isn't already all right so now you have moving change of residence moving in with your partner all right so let's take a look and see what's going on here virgo are you moving someone moving in with you are you moving in with someone else buying or selling a home in january renting leasing let's take a look here 
Okay, so there's the home card. Four of Wands. Some of you are going to be moving in with a partner. That's the strongest message here. Celebration. That's like um, homecoming. It's even an energy of like a cel like um, house housewarming party, that kind of thing. Uh, somebody may be wanting to move in with you. Um, you moving in with them. Let's take a look. Okay. So you have the Page of Wands. And yeah, the Eight of Wands. There's going to be some communication happening in January. Um, this is all fire. Look at that. So it could be a fire sign, but it's all fire. There's uh, someone, this great idea. Let's move in together real fast. Let's get married. Let's do it all. Oh my God. Um, hold on. I'm feeling January 12th, they just said. There might be a conversation. Um, It's either moving in together or you, some of you might be moving home. I feel like it could be the end of this, maybe over the weekend, something starts happening um, or someone's either you're, maybe you're moving home or someone's moving home with you um, or is moving out and is moving or changing their residence. You'll hear about this over the weekend. It's going to happen pretty quick. This can be about uh, travel as well. So there could be communication about um, traveling, um, like a distance, like there's a distance of moving in, changing residence to like a long distance kind of thing as well. All right, let me see. But yeah, from, for the most part, I feel like you're going to get some communication from someone in regards to um, moving in together. Okay, there's a magician. For some of you, this could be a Gemini that this involves. Okay, but there's definitely like, oh, somebody's got plans. They're going to tell you their ideas, how how things are going to get paid for, what, you know, what's going to, like, how we're going to do this with bills and split things up. And yeah, it's going to go quick too. Even with the Eight of Wands, this is an eight, uh, Cupid's Arrows to me. So it could be a love thing as well. Yeah, you could hear somebody's leaving to move in and they're getting married um, or they're getting into a long-term relationship or they're moving in with their boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Like it could be someone connected to you, like it could be your kids. There's two pages there, however old they are, okay? Um, or it could be one or they, maybe your kids are going to move in together. You have college kids or something like that. Why is there, yeah, the nine of swords is here. Why is this here? Oh my God. Why is the nine of swords here? Oh, okay. If someone's moving out, Virgo, that you have a connection with family-wise, um, you might be a little anxious about it or sad. Um, maybe just because you'll miss them. Um, I'm not seeing a breakup here or anything like that. So I'm not feeling like if you live with someone that you guys are breaking up and you're moving separate, going to go live separately. I don't feel that at all. This could have something to do with family because we do have family cards here, the four and the 10. So um, there could be somebody moving in with a grandfather or an older male or, or a father figure. That kind of thing is playing out here as well. It's interesting. So I feel like over the weekend, there's going to be some talk, if not actual movement about this. Um, and it may not even be you who's stressed. There could be, if, if it's someone moving out that lives in your home, um, it could be them that's a little bit stressed. Um, or a little bit anxious about making the move. Um, but I don't think it's like, horrible it, it, I think whenever there's a change sometimes people just you know some people go with the flow easier than others right um, but f for you if you have somebody if there's like um, you're moving in with someone um, <laughs> Virgo <laughs> nine of swords you might have your typical Virgo worries like oh what if it doesn't work out what if you know we struggle, you know, oh, there's a sign. <laughs> you might be just worried. What if it's not, like, what if it's too expensive? It could be you and another person that you're with, maybe going and purchasing a, some real estate um, or a house or like, uh, there's a little bit of anxiety there 
too okay i don't think it's really a bad thing i just feel like it's you know you worrying about the what ifs you know what if this makes our relationship harder or what if we take on too much you know or what if living together you know it, it doesn't work out and and you know we're like actually like virgo stop <laughs> stop like if you're if that's you if you're that virgo that's like in the what ifs oh my gosh like don't don't because you're gonna you're gonna it, then it's not gonna work out okay expect the best hope for the best how does that saying go i said it last night too and i forget Is it hope for the best, but expect the worst? I don't even know if that's, I don't even know if I like that. But anyway, yeah, there's some concern. I mean, everything, honestly, everything looks good, but your anxiety is like taking you down into like the rabbit hole here. You know, I, I see. All right. So I, I feel like those are your worries. Honestly, I feel like things are going to work out. There's going to be actually more money, um, less expenses for you as a single, if you're single and you know, if you're just paying the bills up by yourself or um, you might find a really great deal. You could be out looking and might feel like you're not going to find anything. It's going to happen. There will be a change of residence. So something is definitely showing up on the 12th of January. You might even just be like stressing if you have to move home. Um, but I feel like it'll just be a temporary, like a stepping stone. You might not want to. But you might have to. But also, yeah, I, let's move on. Let's see what else is coming up here for you. Okay, there's the two ones. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune. So the decision that you're about to make or that you're going to make about changing residence or moving or uh, someone's living with you, it's in your favor. It's going, listen, it's going to work out. It's going to be okay right? I do see you kind of like, all right, I got to make this decision. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is all about timing, right? So I feel like Virgo, if you time it right, when it feels right, don't don't make a decision about um, moving in with someone. If it doesn't feel like, not emotionally, but intuitively right to do it, the timing will come and then you'll be able to, then you'll know what you need to do. All right. So it did say Gemini earlier. So now we have the first court card, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could there could be a connection to an air sign regarding this situation. Okay. Um, romantic interest, family member, colleague, whatever it might be. Okay. Um, if it's if it's um anybody else who's moving out, it's gonna work out for them. It's a good thing. If it's um if it's if it's a romantic partnership moving in together it looks like it's going to be fine it's going to be okay and if it's like um if you have like a roommate or something if they're moving out you'll be fine if they're moving in you'll be fine virgo i just feel like everything's like a little bit of effort put in on both sides um if it's changing residence and downsizing or upgrading it's going to be okay either way something's going to come through right look the fool so I feel like that's a message, you know, don't worry, be happy. <whistles> don't worry, be happy. Yeah, it's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Um, so I feel like for some of you, you're already like, maybe you're already married to this person and it could be moving the kids in. It could be just the two of you moving in together. It could be a relationship. It's going to be okay. There's Aquarius. So we're getting a lot of air. I'm picking up a lot of air energy. Could be buying some real estate together. Okay, now you've got the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. So they could be attached to the situation as well. Let's see. Okay. Five of Swords. Ten of Wands. Getting rid of all your, your burdens, right? Okay, so listen. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, this big move is going to change everything in your love life for the better. I don't know how it's connected, but everything in your your love life, for some reason, is going to improve drastically. 
because of some kind of moving or residence change, um, that kind of thing. Like I said, I'm not picking up a split here because the lovers is here. It's actually, it's going to get better. So your fears and worries just kind of feel to me like just your typical fears and worries. Virgo will like worry themselves to sleep. They'll worry themselves into like a rabbit hole. Um, because Virgo, it, it's mostly because Virgo will think of every single scenario. How something can turn out, how something will work, how something could go. Uh, Virgo's like a little strategist, you know? The problem is that sometimes you get so deep into your thought process that you miss the big picture, right? And then life comes down and just throws you for a loop and then you're kind of like humbled by that right don't ever think it you know just get yourself in a just look at the facts and the evidence uh, if you're going to do any of this overthinking or trying to make a decision and then you know put a time limit on it like set an alarm so you don't get lost in the thing just kind of like i just feel like the message here for you is to just go with the flow i feel like everything is going to be okay and it's going to work out no matter what. Your love life is definitely going to improve. And look, there you are. Queen of Pentacles. Or it's a connection with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, I don't feel like this is a new love. I'm going to have to say that as far as romance goes. I'm not picking up any new thing happening here. So this could already be... If, if you don't have a romantic partner, this may have to do with a family member, friend, or work colleague, roommate, or something like that. Okay, um, if it was a new partner coming in um, and they want to move in with you and you just met, I would run like hell <laughs> because that's creepy. You're like, no, I'm sorry. I don't even know you. Nope. This is where my door ends right here. You can't come in with your bags. F out of here. <laughs> Unless you're that, if you're that, hey, listen, I'm not going to judge. You all do what you need to do. But I feel like if this is something that's been on the plate, on the table, um, I feel like things are going to be okay. I really do. Um, but I feel like for some of you, you got to get rid of this burden. Just cut it out. You know what I mean? Like uh, if you look at this, I'm seeing this person here. That's you with the three swords. And there's that's the other two personalities of you that like like to come in and demonize you. They're like, oh, what about this? What about this? And Virgo's like, get out, get out, get out. Getting, ending the struggle, the burden, and just let things flow, but be aware of where you're going, right? And you're heading down the river and you have no oars in your boat. Make sure your eyes are open so you're not going over the side of the waterfall, right? You can go with the flow, but you need to keep your, you need to keep your wits about you. Everything's going to work out. This is all going to be fine with this whole moving in together or changing residence or you know whatever it is okay i can tell you like i said before your whole like your love life is going to improve because of this all right virgo now you have intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later okay what's going on you're seeing some red flags in january okay got the king of swords Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is the second, third time now. The Two of Wands is coming up. Okay. Oh, and here's the Page of Swords. So you got somebody who's stalking you. <laughs> and you know it. Your intuition is telling you. And it's like, what the hell are they doing that for? What do they want? Okay. This person could be watching from afar. They could be on the other side of the world. Um... But they're very curious about you. They're very interested in knowing, first of all, what your decision is going to be. I just heard that. Um, they may be asking you something. Hmm. Or they're asking around about you, this air sign. Asking around about you or spying or creeping trying to get information on you about what you're going to do next i'm just hearing and that's kind of they're doing a little intel they could be police or a lawyer okay or they're like 
they're it's very cold it's a very cold energy like I have the chills and I look at this king of swords with all that blue they they come across as very warm they wear a coat of warmness and tender heartedness but underneath they're cold as ice right so there's a little bit of manipulation coming from this this king of swords this person um hmm somebody's trying to get information on you about what your next steps are going to be okay hmm and they're being paid they're being paid or they're paying someone to get information on you. Something must have ended. Or well, there's a sense of betrayal. They feel betrayed. I feel like somebody's hiring like an investigator or someone to find out either what you're doing with your money or um, to, to, to why, like to see what your, what your plans are. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. The Empress. To try to find out if you're pregnant. Ugh. Lord, I'm so happy those days are over. But it could also be um, there's a connection to a mother figure. There's a connection to um, an ex spouse or a family member. Um, that like has kids it's like a female a mother yeah somebody's like doing some intel on you find out what's going on um you you're in you're you're involved in something in january that um either that has some kind of connection either to a gemini libra or an aquarius and um don't be surprised like okay virgo Wow, interesting messages here. The Seven of Wands. So someone's in like their defense mode. They're not trying to get found out. Okay, they're not trying to get found out. So they're kind of like pushing back like it's a little sneaky. There's That's the red flag. It's, it's a little sneaky. Okay, let me see. Why do they want this information, though? That's the question. Why does this person want? Like, why are they? Why are they spying? What are they doing? Oh, the lovers. Okay, it's surrounding a, a partnership. It's surrounding a marriage. It's surrounding a deep, deep partnership. A loving, a love partnership. A love relationship. <coughs> They're trying to get find out if you are in a relationship with someone else or if you are still interested in them or like no mostly if you're if you're sleeping with someone else or if you have a connection with someone else okay that that's strongly what I feel there because of the lovers and if you're making a decision to go with somebody else okay creep factor 10 here all right Sagittarius Gemini again okay yeah they're trying to find out if you've met your your soulmate if you've met your person like what's it their business like is there there's gossip as well what's it their damn business if they're an ex oh okay they have a lot of regret Ooh, must be somebody that you were connected to before Virgo, this person is like feeling a heavy loss. They lost you to someone else and they're trying to find out. Gosh, I need a drink. They're trying to find out, if, like water, y'all. They're trying to find out if, um, <sighs> this person's like busted up. Nine of Wands. Wounded warrior. If you're, if you moved on, are you moving on with somebody else? Jeez. Wow, Virgo. So I don't know. Like, how are they going to be spying? First of all, I feel like they're going to be talking to other people, or there's going to be um, I swear, if the world comes out, it's going to be on the internet. I will tell you that. Looking you up on the internet. 
Pisces energy, the hangman, knight of wands. Well, the wheel of fortune. We got a circle here. Mm -mm -mm. They're trying to find out if you're like happy, if you've like hit the jackpot with another person, if or if it's just a physical fling. Yeah, if you're content. They're trying to like peek. They're peeking. But Virgo, I don't feel like this person's actually going to do anything. They're not going to approach you. And because they get that defensive, that seven of wands. So they're pushing back. Like if anybody were to approach or they could find out, they're going to push back on that. This person is not going to approach you and ask you, or let it be known that they're watching to see if you've like what like what you're doing. They're again trying to gather this intel. But why? Right? Because there's regret, remorse, there's pain. Ugh. They feel like they lost you, they're missing you. Okay, well, you know, I don't know what happened here, Virgo, but I feel like you kind of know. Yeah, you walked away from something. You did. And whether it's temporary or whether it was for good, you walked away from something here with someone. And they're trying to... This person thinks you left them to be with somebody else. Now, maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. You might have just left because it wasn't working out. Whatever the reason doesn't matter but i feel like this person thinks that you left or you're not with them anymore because you're out like it's very egotistical in a lot of ways that someone would think and i'm speaking to the ladies generally a woman doesn't generally leave a man um for another guy if her guy's treating her like a queen do you know what i mean like it's just not a, a normal, natural thing for women. And yes, I'm speaking to women. <laughs> yes. It's not a normal, natural thing. Unless there's some kind of an affliction within her. Some trauma or something like that. That she would do that. But a, 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 a healthy woman. If she's being treated well. she will treat. If, if she's being treated like a queen. She will treat her man like a king. <clears throat> okay. So however you want to specify your gender, that's up to you. But if she's not being treated like a queen, and I'm not talking about like diamonds and furs. I'm not talking about that. I just mean with respect, loyalty, sincerity, um, and, and just kindness and love and support. If she's not getting that, um, she'll still try to give it to the guy that she's with, but then she'll sense that things are turning very toxic because it's just not a two-way street there. Now it's one way. And she will generally um, just make a decision, you know what, I can do this all on my own and just go off on her own and, and level up and make herself available later for someone that will treat her well, right? That's generally the gist of how women work. Um and I'm not going to speak for men because I'm not a male. But I've heard that men will sometimes just run to the next pair of heels because that's how they deal with their stuff. But I can't confirm that. If you're a guy listening, you can confirm it if you like. But a healthy man, I don't think, does that. I think a healthy man's like, oh, okay, well, you know, things didn't work out here. I'm not really getting my needs met. And I'm not going to run to the next pair of heels. I'm going to sit with myself for a while, go hang out with my guys, <laughs> you know, and do the things that guys do, you know, that's what I hear. So I feel like you must have left, this person thinks you left to run to somebody else, like, because they're, com they're being competitive, perhaps. Um, and, you know, maybe you did, maybe you went into the arms of somebody else because they were treating you better. And that doesn't necessarily make you toxic. It may just be, you know, something that like you were just like, oh, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> this one over here is not giving me any trauma. This one over here is treating me like gold. <laughs> this one over here has been sticking around the whole time I've been dealing with 
a bad situation and they've been supportive and loving and treating me like a queen and you know so i don't know specifically what your situation is but whoever this person is yeah they're regretting they're having a lot of regret yep okay maybe they cheated queen of wands they could have messed around um and you know people who cheat generally accuse others of cheating that that's just the way it works um because people who don't cheat would never think that <laughs> naturally they would just be like what's going on you know so um there's queen of wands here so for some of you you could be on the cusp of leo virgo or you have fire in your chart pretty strongly somewhere but i feel like for you virgo with this reading i don't care about their red flags I don't care if they're spying on me. I'll give them a movie. I don't care. I'm going to live my life the best I can. And and if somebody comes along and that person is, this new person is going to you know treat me well and treat me better, I don't care if my ex has a problem with that. They had their opportunity to do that and they squandered it. So if they squander it, the honest is on them. They got to deal with it. But spying and trying to gain intel on you is not the way to do it. No, that's, that's just, you're still doing the same shit you did before. That's all that is, right? So Virgo, I feel like, <laughs> this reading, I can't, you guys. I feel like for you, um, there you go, Leo Virgo, energy there for somebody. But I feel like for you, um, you're embracing that, a part of you um, that's taking bold action. You're embracing this, or you will be, at least in January. It's taking this bright, sunny, positive, f you know, flipping the, the switch, flipping the script, and doing what's best for you here, whatever it is, or you've already done that, okay? And with this person, you know, maybe you found out that there was something going on, or that there was, like, you know, some mischievous behavior going on. You might have, and just said, you know, that's not for me. Let them have it. Go ahead, do your thing. If you regret, that's on you. That's your loss. I don't feel like you're really, um, you know, masculine or feminine, whatever you are. I don't feel like you're really sorting, trying to sort out some kind of mess. You're just kind of like, hmm, let me see if I have enough money to get my hair done tomorrow. That's really what I need to look at. <laughs> so your energy is pretty much like, yeah, you're, trust your intuition, Virgo. If something's been telling you that you've got somebody or you you have a hunch or a sense um, that somebody's kind of keeping tabs on you, I'm confirming it. Just for you is all I'm doing. Just confirming it. Good luck. All right, Virgo, you're starting with intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. So someone is reminiscing about the intimacy with another person in January, thinking about those pleasurable moments i should say let's take a look and see what's going on here okay knight of pentacles three of pentacles ten of pentacles could be another earth sign um did you have a little fling with someone at your work or at school hmm or someone maybe a little kiss so when i say you know yeah it says sexual chemistry it doesn't mean that actually we're doing anything it just means like there's a strong attraction there's reminiscing about that sexual chemistry there's a desire to be together um this is somebody that you have some kind of work connection with i'm seeing here um either part of your career what you do for a living could be a customer a client um it could be a student and i hope they're uh, over 18 and um it could be the parent of a student but there is someone who sits and we'll see if we can find out who it is but there is someone who sits here who is thinking about you and is hoping that you are going to come their way or approach them okay yeah, they're hoping you're going to take a risk, act the fool, and make some kind of an offer or um, make some kind of move, right? Some kind of move. Um, they think you're taking a really long time. <laughs> okay. And maybe rightfully so, because if it's a professional setting, 
Yeah, you, you don't want to screw up your job, right? If you work with this person or there's a connection there, let me see. I'm picking up some travel energy too. Now, if it's not a job situation, um, I do feel like there is someone that if you've had a romantic connection with before where you had a physical intimate relationship, um, this person's um, in, in, all, in due time, it's just a matter of time, when the time is right, this person's coming in to make some kind of um, real offer. And when I say real offer, um, I'm not talking so much about just the love and the emotions. We're talking about like a real offer, like moving in together or uh, tying the knot, um, step putting roots down somewhere financially, building something together. Yeah, and I feel like this is coming and it's all... Um, they're just saying it, it, it's the right time. So we do have Aquarius and there is Sagittarius. So you have a connection with that person. That That's an energy there. Let me see. Um, now this is for January, but now they're just telling me, they're giving me the month of March. So I'm not sure if that is the sign, um, Aries or Pisces that you have a connection with, or there's this energy is going, going to actually, like it will happen in March. Um, I just did a reading about moving in together or a change of residence. So you might want to go back and listen to that because this could be related to that a little bit. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. Relocation. Yeah, 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 yeah. This might be. Listen, somebody's coming out of their comfort zone. Somebody wants to be with you or have you come where they are. If you have a kid or a grandchild or three or ten or whatever, they don't care. I feel like this person... Um, they're they're kind of like looking out at the distance and that's all they can think about is the chemistry that you guys have and they also think that there's a compatibility um but with the temperance here i do feel like it's just kind of not just yet like right now it can't happen due to maybe other issues other external um obstacles but in all in good time i feel like there's going to be like a huge shift that happens and it's all based on um, <laughs> the way this person's just thinking about you, uh, and that, and, and I don't know, kissing you or hugging or holding you or just all of that. I feel. And uh, Virgo, do you want this too with this person? You might, but it, it's definitely there on the table for January. Um, let's see here. There's the two of cups. Yep, and the three of cups. Okay. Virgo, there is definitely reminiscing. There's a reunion for sure with someone. It could be with, a, it's a soulmate. Or it's someone that you got, you guys are on the same page. 100% you're on the same page. Look at the two of cups. That right there is like your equals. It's not just the, the, the sexual intimacy, but um, like you, you kind of match each other. You match each other's energy. You're in alignment. And it's just a matter of time before you guys start on this journey of new love here and have so much to celebrate uh, they're just giving me the number 23 so something could be happening on the 23rd it could be your birthday born on the 23rd or it could be theirs 23 is significant they're saying let me see january 23rd is a tuesday it's funny because i always say life hits you on a tuesday afternoon when you least expect it that i'm gonna make a mug <laughs> Put that slogan, that sl that lo slogan on there because that that's been my experience for life. When you least expect it, Tuesday nobody Tuesday afternoon is like a dead. That's a dud. Nothing happens on a Tuesday afternoon ever. But I feel, <laughs> I just feel like there's something about a Tuesday afternoon. Um, like it's this whole thing is just gonna be like pow. Like what? Whoa. Now it's not a surprise, but with the fool it is kind of like you know a risk adventurous new beginning kind of thing happening here so yeah there's a connection definitely um tell virgo who this could be oh 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 and it's so funny because you keep showing up in your readings like ever i think almost these past four so for some of you um virgo taurus capricorn 
you have this connection with, and they could have that in their chart anywhere. It doesn't have to be the sun. You also have the emperor. Um, for some of you girls, this be your daddy. <laughs> Not your real dad. Ew, you perv. That's gross. Ew, go away. This could be your baby daddy, <laughs> or just your daddy. Like your your you know this you call them you call them you call your person daddy or mommy. I don't know. <laughs> We're getting a little fetish here. So um, this is your king or your queen for sure. That yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. What's going on here? <laughs> it's not happening just yet. I will tell you that. But I just kind of feel like all of 2024 is just going to be so much love energy. All right. Yeah, it's not time. Why? Because there's restrictions here. Okay. Um, someone's unable to move just yet. They can't. They want to. They will be. But they're not able. Or you're not able. Okay, could be you, could be both of you. The timing is just not right. There's restrictions. Okay, there could be mental restrictions. There's um, maybe a lack of communication or a sense of feeling like um, it's just an energy. If like, oh, it's, it doesn't feel like right now is a good time to do it, to, to, to come together. Okay, but like I said, I don't know, Virgo, are you thinking about this person? Do you have intimate thoughts? Are you reminiscing about this person? You could be. You could be hoping someone's going to make a return. I see that. It could be an Aries. Um, or, yeah, 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 two of wands. Um, you might not be, though. For, um, they're just saying, for some of you, you're not feeling this at all. But in towards the end of January, the energy hits you. It does. It comes. There's that, all of a sudden, something just, you know how, like, sometimes you just out of the blue. And if you feel that, like there's, it's not a trigger. I don't feel like you get triggered by anything. You just feel a presence. I, it's just very overwhelming and powerful. Um, a, a memory comes up. The reminiscing. And the reminiscing is um, equivalent of the Six of Cups. So this could be with a past person or someone whom you had um, an intimate type of feeling and or relationship with from however long ago. Could, could have been in your childhood, uh, someone that, you know, you, you were with or you, you had that feeling with. And then for some of you, this is just you guys went on with separate lives and, and here you are kind of showing up. It could be someone who's a friend of your father's or your older brother, too, I'm just hearing. Okay, that's pretty specific, so that won't resonate. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what I was saying. There you go. It's almost like I called the card out of the deck. Six of Cups. I mean, there's definitely a reunion happening in January, for sure. Now, is there going to be action taken on your part? I don't know. You might. You might not. That's, you know, you got to make that decision. But I definitely feel this energy playing out here in January for you, okay? Um doesn't mean you have to like it, right? I'm just giving the message. So you might just be like, oh no, do not bring this around me again. Um, you know, and if that's the case, listen, your thoughts aren't in control of you. You're in control of your thoughts and your feelings. You can't choose your thoughts. You can't choose your feelings, but you can choose what to do with them. So if that's the case, just because I'm giving you the message doesn't mean that it's written in stone. You can turn around and be like, no, House of Virgo. I hear what you're saying. Thank you for the reading. I'm not going in that direction. Hey, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm happy you just watched, clicked on the video. Please do put a like on the video, even if you don't like it. Like it anyway. Even if you just don't agree with it and it doesn't resonate for you, um, hit a like anyway, because maybe it'll help somebody else, right? And actually, it'll help me get the videos up and out and the algorithms like, holla, tweaking. So, okay. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's take a look at your energy. Oh, yeah, the pains it comes. Eh. I've missed you. I'm ready to. <laughs> Next time we're together, can we use that? <laughs> I can't with these readings. Sometimes they're just too funny. Um, Virgo, I feel like if there's any apologies, they'll get said. If there's any sweet love text messages, phone calls, or anything like that to be had, they will be had. 
Um, there's definitely a new start. There's definitely a new physical start if that's something that you want, you know, or can do whatever. It's up to you. But um, that Five of Cups does give me this. You, you might be missing someone or they're missing you um, or the energy is just flowing back and forth. OK. Um, and I feel like if you, if you, because I was asking about you, so if you're missing someone, you hear from this person, you just be like, boing, everything kind of just, you, 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 it, it's like, this is kind of reminds me of a little bit like, okay, how can I say it? It's the way us tarot readers are, or maybe it's just me. This is kind of like a wilted flower here, and then someone comes and puts water in the soil, and then it's like, boop, you know, you kind of get a little bit of life back in you. <laughs> you're no longer wilted. Yeah, so I feel like that's how that's going to feel when you hear from someone here. Um, there's definitely an intimate, special connection with someone, whoever your person is, or, you know. Um, again, I don't feel like it's new. If the Ace of Cups shows up, you know, the Two of Cups can be a new love card, but the Ace of Cups didn't come out first. So the Two of Cups can be like kind of like a further down the line is if, if the ace of cups had already happened you might have already met this person and then maybe there was a little time period between you where nothing was going on and then the two of cups comes and it's like okay well, now we're going to get started we're going to connect so that's a beautiful thing right that's a beautiful thing so if this is something that you want i hope it happens for you i wish you all the best personal reading link is below in the description box i've just fixed the link because i had it I don't know. I wrote in the wrong thing. So thanks to everyone who mentioned that to me. I was wondering, like, why isn't anybody booking anything? Um, and you can also get a text message reading from me, okay? Instead of having a phone call, instead of having to wait a day or two or whatever, you just book it and send. make sure you put your phone number in there and make sure that you put your messages in there as well. The questions you want to ask, five questions. And then, you know, I, I will get that reading. I'll respond to it. Um before even it can be even before the time of that you book your reading all right you guys have a great night i will see you all back here tomorrow love you take care hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye